yeah it's all right my brother sniper um what shout out to you guys um uh, as you can see we're killing gold we're killing gold so currently i am running over 490 pips you understand i'm killing 490 pips so today gold is going to do something crazy you understand like i told you we're supposed to get down to 2000 zone and currently now we are what um approaching towards daily breakout zone you can actually check it on your um uh, trading journal this is what daily breakout zone this was four hours breakout zone like i told you this one was one hour breakout zone you understand that's why you see it dropped and we broke another four hours it dropped now if we can break this daily breakout zone we're going to see a massive drop down to this place and if we can't we're going to see a rejection backward and now what is going to catalyze this to happen because the us is bringing out news today look at it we have unemployment claim and we have what this uh, fed chairman speaking by eight o'clock and this one is by 2 30 so all these things are the things that is going to catalyze uh the what's it called the, the dollar to be strengthened or weakened so if the news comes out by 2 30 if it breaks this that means i'm close below that means we're heading downwards but if it rejects we are going back again to where we started from you understand so those are the two things you need to look out for so our our zone now our daily daily zone daily breakout zone is this yeah you can check it from your um what's it called from your trading journal you'll be able to see this zone so once price break this zone we are heading downwards just the way you see this one dropped from from one hour to four hours then we are heading to both the daily you understand you see how it's going to drop massive extent so but currently now we're still going to be seeing ranging movement until these news come and it will what shoot everything to the upside or downside you understand but for me personally i'm I already have um 490 pips so i'm going to break even somewhere here i'm going to drop my, let me just do it now so i'm going to take my uh what's it called my stop loss drag it down to this so i'm saving about two, 200 and something pips. let me just bring it down so i'm saving like 300 pips 360 pips so anyone that comes again if the news come and hit it no problem you understand so if the news come to this place now oh well i've already gathered here but i'm anticipating that price is going to break you understand based on the news More that is going to come but if it doesn't if we come here and hit me we are done it's good you understand so this is the benchmark that is going More to be if we are still going to fall downwards because this is a what daily breaker zone and if you check the um, trading journal we're already in the first phase of what the downward movement uh, sorry the last phase of a bullish move and the turning point of a bearish move so definitely this is supposed to drop but let's see what the news has for us if the news can break this we are good to do but if it doesn't we may just reverse up once you have first zone first phase recall this and apart from that i still drop another trade on on the telegram channel which is uh, uh, what's it called this trade gbp news alert so let's see where it is now let me check my trading journal so that you'll be able to see why we took the trade and so currently now this is the trade we're anticipating that this price is going to shoot up to the upside so the reason why i took this trade is because daily is showing first phase candle you understand and uh, it has broken what the breakout zone and at the same time on four hours we are seeing what in bullish mode so four hours and what daily they align and if you have this kind of scenario oh god we are going to shoot to the upside so currently now i'm thinking of holding this trade because daily is on the first phase candle so if i can do maybe three days or four days candle can get to somewhere here maybe like 200 pips or 300 pips so now let me show you on the um, trading journal the reason why i took this trade 
now this is beckoning trading journal now, now let's go down to the trend direction it's pretty simple you don't need to do too many analysis but i'm just trying to explain everything to you so that you see what we are doing as you can see this is the gold i was talking about you understand this is the breakout zone so if we can break this daily breakout zone we're going to drop but if we fail we bounce up but the news is going to catalyze everything that is going to happen so now let's look at um, the gdp news land Zealand, the pounds New Zealand that I'm talking about. So the reason why I took this trade, number one, this is a very good signal. Number one, first candle. You understand? One day. First candle. So it's changing on a trend direction. Before it was a bearish move, now it's now a bullish move. First candle, first phase, one candle, first phase. Breakout zone is on what? downward movement it has gone to a downward movement no, before it was upward movement that is why we took the trade it was upward movement but nevertheless we've already entered so we're going to hold this trade and at the More same time let's look at what four com. hours have for us on this i think i saw it on four hours and i posted it More music on trendybeats.com let's see it should be on the telegram channel um, Okay, this is the thing. Okay, so price. This is the reason why we took the trade. This is it. It was an upward move. But recently, now because of its slight breakdown, now went back to retest this breakout zone. Definitely, this is the first face candle. We're going to see a shoot up. Now, before then, I posted it on the Telegram channel that four hours is what on it was the same thing. Four hours we have test candle to have four hours first candle have uh, moving up. So let me see if I can check it on the neutral trend. Then let me see if I can get it on the neutral trend because it's not displaying there. So definitely it's going to be on the neutral trend. So that's those are the reason why we took those trades. Then let me see on the neutral then it should be on the retracement. That is why we're missing. Yes, as you can see, is what you have four candles now. Currently four candles, 42 days. It's in the first phase. Now it's currently in the downward move because of having the retracement. You understand? But based on the fact that daily has already told us the first candle that price is going to shoot. And before I entered, price was above breakout zone. Now it's having what a retracement. And this trade, some persons can still enter immediately what this retracement is over you understand so once price is showing this retracement the heavy retracement the price should be over as you can see what the market is trying to do um it's coming that let me let me look at the breakout zone which is 20 2.073112.07 so this is our breakout zone two point zero is not correct two points is our breakout zone two point zero seven three one one 2.073112.073 more music on trendybeats.com 2.073112 more music on trendybeats.com as you can see price is currently revolving in the breakout zone you understand so i entered when the price was above the breakout zone that's why you see that bullish move so this price is going to shoot up no matter what is going to shoot up but my stop loss is below the previous 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 look stand so we're going to shoot up to the upside because daily is on the first phase one hour four hours is on his first phase so we are expecting a massive move even if we are currently on the drawdown you understand but we are expecting a massive move up 
can hold this trade for like maybe three, three days. Maybe first candle, second candle, fourth candle. I'll be able to close it maybe probably on Tuesday next week. So these are the trades that we have for today. And apart from that, we still have um, uh, what is it called? Duo um, Australian pair that we smashed yesterday. Now let me take you to my Telegram channel to right. see that we did massively that yesterday we will stand very now look at it this was the signal we dropped and we will be able to smash the market back to back so today we are still expecting a massive move because the way we normally the market back to back so if you've not entered you can still enter again because we are currently going on the placement you can still enter this um, GDP this trade this trade understand? and remember what we talked about the good so you could break that um, daily um, um, break out zone we are expecting a downward movement but if it rejects we are going back to where we came from now what is going to catalyze that is this news that we are having by 2.30 and before this news I am going to save about 300 tips I am saving 300 tips so even if this news shoots to where I am I still have 300 tips saved to my side but I am 100% sure that this market is going to drop points. what is going to make it drop if, if the price break below what the daily break house and we are, we are going to our 2000 tips but if it fails we are going to pass back then to now gather momentum come down to the so those are the things these are the things that is going to fuel either buying or selling other in the position very short because of this news so i'll keep you updated and um, if you've not entered this trade you can as well enter now you understand now that it's still on in the downward movement 